Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 23rd of 2024 is titled The Crab Nebula from Visible to X-Ray. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the Crab Nebula. That's a famous supernova remnant, also known as M1, the first object in the Messier catalog of objects. And it is a supernova remnant, the remnant of a star that was seen to explode here on Earth nearly 1,000 years ago. Now, what they're looking at here is combining that image. So we're looking at a visible light image that is in the red and the blue. We're looking at x-ray images shown in white. So we're putting those together along with x-ray emission from another satellite in the purple colors. So we can really then see we're getting a more complete picture on this object. So the overall the red and the blue gives you the overall extent. That's what we normally see as the Crab Nebula. That is that star that was seen to explode and has been expanding outward for a thousand years now. The x-rays don't look at most of the material. We don't see most of the filaments in uh, x-rays. There might be a few where you're getting some intense shocking that would produce extra energy. But in most cases, that, that is coming from the pulsar. Now, the pulsar is a compact neutron star. That's a star about the size of a city, so just a 8 10 kilometers across but can have several times the mass of our sun so all that material has been compacted down and it's compacted down as dense as matter can possibly get we look at things as solid here on earth they're really all empty space you me anything you're holding is really made up mostly of empty space and if you can squish out all of that space between the atoms you could crush a star down to the size of an earth we call that a white dwarf star if you could continue that crushing and crush all those electrons into the nucleus and just make a giant ball of neutrons, then you would have a neutron star. And that's what happens at some of the most massive stars at the end of their lives. A supernova explosion can implode them and they can compact down all of that mass to as dense as material can possibly get. And they also will spin extremely fast. So they will spin about, in this case, the Crab Nebula Pulsar spins about 30 times a second. And you can actually see it here. The very bright spot at the center is the Crab Pulsar. And then materials, jets of materials we can see coming out from around the accretion disk of that pulsar. And it is that pulsar which powers the entire nebula that gives it all of its energy. So we we'll see it glowing. We see that energy is all coming from the pulsar at the center. So what happens to the pulsar over time? Well, guess what? It's going to slow down. It's slowly lo it's losing energy, right? It's putting energy out into the nebula. And therefore, it has to lose energy, which it does by slowing down, spinning a little bit slower over time. And you can use that and then determine that eventually the Crab Nebula will cease shining. Eventually that soup that sorry, eventually that neutron star will not give off enough energy to be able to energize the nebula and it will slowly fade out. The material will continue expanding out into space to become seed material for the next generation of stars. So here we look at the Crab Nebula in both the visible giving us the overall view and the x-rays giving us an up close look at the pulsar that spinning neutron star at the center which is the energy source of the entire nebula. So that was our picture of the day for July 23rd of 2024. It was titled the Crab Nebula from visible to x-ray. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a spiky moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.